Welcome back. I'm glad to see you today. Hey, Bob. It's a fantastic day here, and I hope it is wherever you're at. Okay. Reach up here and get a little touch of the alizarin crimson. Lizard crimson. Thought today we'd have a little sun up here in the sky. So we start out with just a little spot of color. Pink sun? Okay, Bob, off to a weird start. That's simple. Now I'm gonna clean the brush. Okay. Shake it off. <laughs> just beat the devil out of it. Beat the devil out of it, Bob. Now then, I'm gonna take titanium white once again. Okay, titanium white. Get a touch. Of the cad yellow. Cad yellow. Okay. And I'm gonna go right around the outside of this. Going around the out. Boy, it looks like an egg I cooked this morning. Well, I don't know what kind of eggs you cook. Certainly don't want to eat any of my cooking. Yeah, definitely not, Bob. And maybe we'll have a little water down here and we'll put a little touch of that yellow and white mixture. Yellow water, okay. I'm gonna go right into a little touch of the yellow ochre. There we are. I wanna add a little touch of Indian yellow to that too. Oh yeah, that's nice. That brightens it up even better. Oh yeah, that's nice, Bob. All we're looking for is a little color. We'll come back and straighten it all up and have fun with it later. Just down here, Bob, okay. And I'm gonna add that right around here. Wait, 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 Slow down, slow down. I'm still doing this down here. As I say, this is just going to be a very bright, happy little painting. Okay, I like happy. And when you're putting these layers of color on here, use little crisscross strokes. Oh, I'm not doing crisscross, Bob. You're the reason why my painting is not going to be as good. Same old dirty brush. And I'm going to start it up in here. Wait, I'm gonna switch to the four inch brush. I gotta catch up, I'm slowing, slowing down behind you, Bob. Whoa, why'd I do that? Reach over here, get a little touch, be right back, there it is. A little touch of the blue and put it right in the brown. So I have Prussian blue and Van Dyke brown. Wait, you put blue, blue and brown? So start out here and let it work forward. That way it'll get lighter, lighter, lighter. I don't, I'm having trouble with the color mix in here, Bob. Put a little bit down in here. Whoa! <laughs> Just a fun pain. A little bit on the other side. Whoa! Hey now. Wash him off real good. Give him a shake. Ah, I want to beat the devil. I want to beat the devil. <laughs> then just beat the devil out of him. <laughs> okay. Get a very dry brush. Be sure your brush is dry. If it's wet and you hit all this, you're going to end up in Agony City and you're going to be upset with me. Okay, I'm not in Agony City. One sec. Just got to catch up. Got speed, speed paint here, Bob. There, and just begin blending. Still making the little crisscross strokes. Okay. It's unbelievable how smooth you can make it. You won't be able to tell where one color stops and the next color starts. I can, I can tell. I can clearly tell where my colors start and stop. Look at that. That stops right there. Wash your brush. There we go. Give it a good shake. <laughs> and just beat it. That really is the fun part of this. Beating the devil out of the brush so much. Now, when you're doing this at home, pay some time to step back and take a look-see. Okay, let me stand back. It's hard to see right up close exactly what you have. But if you stand back and look at it, then you'll see it. Yours looks way better than mine, Bob. There. It actually isn't that bad. It's just down here. I kind of messed up with the... I don't know what that is. Now then, I want to put a sun up in here, so I'll just use my finger. I, I can't do that. I can't do that, Bob. And just using the finger, we can just put in a little circle. See, that's all there is to it. The value remains in the canvas. Okay, don't know what that means. And you can do this a couple of three times if you want to, to get a desired lightness. Oh! Oh, I messed up the sun. We can just bring all this together. Oh, okay, that's looking a little better. It's just, it's just good to be alive sometime. It is, Bob. I agree. Wash off our brush. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you could put some little clouds out here in the sky. Clouds? Shoot, I'll just do a quickie here. Oh, Bob, you're doing a quickie? A little bit of crimson, a little touch of white. 
Bob loves the crimson. A little more crimson than that. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Ooh, that's nice, Bob. Now then, get us a fan brush. We'll just load a little color on it. And maybe there's just a little floater. We got the fan brush. Got to make a floater. This guy has fun on it. Maybe he comes right on across. We don't know. Oh, I actually like that cloud. Good job, Mac. I don't use blue in these clouds because there's yellow hair in the sky. Oh, I'm using blue. <laughs> Unless you want green clouds. If you want green clouds, then you should have green clouds. Maybe I do, Bob. All right. Tell you what. What? Let's build a little mountain. Okay. Now, if you want to see what color you got, put a little white out there. White. I'll put a little white out there. White. Well, I might white put the white. And you have to make a decision. Where in your world does your mountain live? Okay, Bob. My mountain. Probably gonna live in the same spot as yours. Cause I'm just gonna follow along here. I get letters from people sometimes, and they say, "Oh, you do too many mountains." No. You don't do enough, Bob. The next letter open, say, you don't do enough mountains. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Nailed it. There we are. How did you do that that fast? Holy Bobby. Uh, uh, Bob. There's some fantastic people all over the country who are doing some of the most beautiful paintings. Ooh, Bob. Ah, oh, I ruined it. There, I'm gonna take titanium white and put the least little touch. Least. And just sparkle some color right over this little mountain. Look at that. One sec, one sec, Bob, one sec. Slow down, slow down, Bobby, come on. See, by not over mixing your paint, you get those spots that are a little bit pinker, some are a little whiter. Well, I don't have any white on my mountains yet. I'm gonna leave that paint there for some texture. All right, now then we'll use that for our shadow color. Wait, Bob, wait, 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 just catching up here. White. Put this shadow in, Soup. no pressure. No pressure, Bob. No pressure. Oh, the white, why'd I do that, Bob? No pressure, what? Barely caressing the canvas. I'm barely caressing, Bob. And wherever you want them, look at that. Oof, ah, Mac, stop, 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 whoa. If you. If you learn to do mountains, it'll teach you to use this knife. Happy little knife. Now, some people like to put the shadows in first and then the highlights. Some don't. Whichever way works for you, that's the right way. Yep, yep, I agree, Bob. Need a little shadow here, too. You were going to let me just sneak on by without putting one in, then I'd have been in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I was going to let you do it, Bob. <laughs> then you laughed at me. What happened there? When did I do that? There we go. What are you, what are you doing right now? Just tap, okay. Just tap, follow the angles. Okay, I don't see any angles. Look at that mist down at the base of that mountain. I'm not seeing any mist. Yeah, okay, I can actually kind of see it, yeah, woo. I think I've showed you this before, but it's worth repeating. Show me, Bob. Maybe sometimes you like to create the illusion of another plane in your mountain. All you have to do is take a little the shadow color. I'm not even going to try that. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to try it. I don't like that. That's what makes your painting special. Yeah, my painting is definitely special. Give him a good shake. Yes. Now. Good, clean, dry brush, gently, gently. Okay, good, clean, dry brush. Gently, bring all that together. Bring it all together. There we are. Here we are. See, and it creates a whole nother plane on your mountain. Okay, what next, Bob? You can use any old thing here. Two inch brush would work fine, or a fan brush. Okay, a uh, fan brush, I'm gonna use fan brush. I wanna put the indication back here, some happy little foothills. There they go. Happy little foothills. Okay, uh, what what is... See there, you can turn the brush sort of sidewards and pull down. Sidewards? What the hell is sidewards, Bob? Shoot. Shoot. Any way you can get the effect that you want is right. This is definitely wrong, Bob. I can tell you that. I, what am I doing? Pull straight down, straight down. Straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Then lightly go across across whoa 
and you have instant reflections. Oh, I kind of, that's how you do a reflection. That's not bad, actually. Maybe it's bad, I don't know. Now then, let's put in a happy little water line back here. Just act like you're trying to literally cut a hole right through the canvas. Cut through the canvas? Issue is, I don't, I don't have water here yet. You have water. <laughs> if you want a little ripple. When I was in the military, I had a friend that had a lot of ripple. So there we go. You were in the military? Your friend had what? Ripple? We won't, we won't talk about that. Okay, sorry. Let's have some fun. We are having fun, Bob. Let's have more fun. Gonna make a, a dark lavender color. How do you make lavender? I don't, I don't know how to do, I don't know how to combine colors here, Bob. Let's give him a little friend down here. This little guy. This is George out here. George? Your tree's name is George? And they live out here and they watch this big mountain. Okay, here's his friend, George. George. We grab that. Now the canvas is wet, so this will move. Look at that. Can you imagine trying to do that on a dry canvas? I'm doing it on a fake canvas, Bob. Imagine that. Whew. Well, you'd be in Agony City. Yeah, I am in Agony City. Look at this shit. And you'd be mad at me about now. I'm pissed. How'd you do the reflections? Reflections, reflections. Ah, uh, it's kind of... Uh... Put a little bit of a water line, and like a little snow laying out here in the water. Maybe this is winter. Make a nice warm winter scene. This is not winter. That's nice. That's nice. Woo wee! That looks pretty good. Oh my god, yours is so much better. Ooh, reflection, Bob. Look at that redemption. The red oh. Now look how that dark shows up against that light background. I have a really light background because I forgot to paint this area. Isn't that spectacular? And if you're out selling your paintings, that son of a gun, boy, that, that brings that happy buck home. Yeah, I'm not selling this, so no worries. Mm. Mm. And we'll just keep right on going there. There's another one. Another one here. Now you can make these with a one or the two inch brush, whatever. Why did it just change color like that? Oh, Bob. Wait, 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 I'm gonna do, uh, never mind. I just happen to have a dirty fan brush, so I thought I'd use it. How do you make trees so fast, Bob? There's a giant evergreen. Yeah, big rascal. Big rascal. I think the fan brush is my enemy. I think that's the problem here. I'm gonna do it with a uh, uh, dragger color shaper. There we go. You know you're doing is pushing down with a fan brush. No, 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 dragger color shaper is not it. Fan brush it is. Oh, that was a good, that was a good tree. I like that tree. Let's do it again. See, we'll put a little reflection there then. Pull it straight down. Oh, for, I forgot about the reflections. I don't even know where my water starts. I, th I guess my water is right here because of the reflections. So that means this has to have a reflection. Oh, look at those reflections, Bobby. Woo-wee. Put another little bush dips there. Okay, you're doing a bunch of bushes now. As long as it makes you happy. Eh, it's not making me happy, but those are supposed to be bushes. And into these trees, I want to put the indication here and there of a little trunk. Wait, happy little trunks? One sec. Just here and there, because you don't see the entire trunk. D Whoa, hey now. Give it a little sideways pull, make it look round. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Ah, uh, I kind of butchered that one. Ah, uh, I butchered that one too. I'm just not even gonna do that one. Okay. And we'll just add a few highlights on these trees too. Oh, we're adding some highlights with the white, the liquid white on the highway. See there, just a few. I don't want to lose that darkness. You got so much more detail. Let's go up in here. And let's just put the indication of some happy little bushes here and there. Indication of the happy little bushes. Okay, bushes, white grass. If you have trouble making the paint stick, add a little more liquid white. It thins it and allows it to come off your brush. You know, Bob, I don't have liquid white. That's why my painting is shit. 
If I had liquid quite, my painting would look exactly like yours. It's hard to believe, you know, with the completion of this series. There's, oh my gosh, we're getting. Oh my gosh. 160, 70, 80 shows now. And if, if you haven't had the opportunity to see them all, and you'd like to, give your local station a call. Let them know what you'd like to see. I'll give them a call, Bob. Yep. Take your knife. Just scrape in a few sticks and twigs here. Ooh, that doesn't sound good, Bob. Ooh. Stop it, Bob. Water line right along here. Hope you've enjoyed this one. We're done? Bob, there's so much. It's bright and shiny. It'll make you happy. From all of us here, happy painting. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What is, wait, wait, stop. Happy And God bless. What? I feel like, I thought we were just halfway through. We're missing a lot right now. Don't know what that is. I don't know why I just didn't paint here. The water line was up here. Over here, it's down here. Those guys don't have a reflection. Oh my God, Bob. I'm just gonna add my happy little bird. And he's pooping. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. GG's. That was uh, one clear day, one happy, one happy clear on a on a clear day. Not the best. I think the best part was the reflections. I kind of surprised myself with the reflections, except I didn't really show where the water line was. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.